present that in terms of like my voice and kind of where I um, like what I em emphasize and stuff. If you had any tips on that, television is all about it's all about connecting with the viewer, and what you want to do is try and be as informal as possible. So you need, unlike newspapers, if you read a newspaper article in the Times or the Guardian, it's very formally written and it's written in very long sentences and TV is very different to that. We, we write TV scripts as if you're having a conversation with somebody. Um, so you want to use short sentences, don't use long complicated words or sentence structures and you really want it to be chatty. Before you need to take a <laughs> uh, never. never. <laughs> um, well, funny enough, I've just done a I've just done a piece of the camera now, and it took about four takes, I think. So I did it four times. But you know, that's that's absolutely normal. Nobody expects you to be perfect first time. And the beauty of television is you can keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you get it right. <laughs> Interview is going to be with a lady who sat up a hospice in memory of her daughter. Do you have any tips on how you can sensitively deal with that without upsetting her but also getting the information? People are very nervous about being on television and having a camera in their face. And if you can put people at ease beforehand, it really helps. So, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the minutes beforehand, perhaps you'll have someone else setting up the camera. Um, if you speak to the lady and just explain a little bit about what you're going to ask, um, what you are hoping that she wants to talk about, find out what she wants to talk about, um, and just put her at ease and say, hey, look, we can do it a few times, you know, if you stumble or whatever, it's not a problem, we can redo it, it's all on tape, it's not live. All those sort of things help reassure someone who's not used to being interviewed. Top tips or something for writing a script, or for thinking about what they would talk about. What do you think are the three most useful things then to consider for a fool's guide? To... What you what would be great, and this might be an easy idea. I'm not saying to use this. You could, you'll, you'll come up with a much better idea. But if you're trying to find people who uh, you know, do they think we should be in Europe or do they think we should be out of Europe? You could almost find a door somewhere in the school and on one side put a sign saying in and on the other side put a sign saying out and then you could get a, a group of pupils, a cross section of pupils and you could ask them to go to the side of the door, go through the door uh, depending on which they're doing. So the people who think we should go into Europe, stay in Europe, they go through the indoor and the ones who think we should come out of Europe, they go through the outdoor. And then you've got a really good visual device, that's what we call it, a visual device for explaining the story. And you can sort of come back in, uh, to that throughout your report. Um, I know in the past, you know, the general election campaigns, they've been to a bakery and they've got red cakes for Labour, yellow cakes for Lib Dems, blue cakes for the Conservatives, and they've gone out on the street and asked people to pick a cake, and like a sort of like a fun sort of mini poll, if you like. And that's what TV needs, you know, you need to have something that draws in the viewer, an idea or a gimmick or some sort of stunt, which means that it's not just people being interviewed and talking. Um, so, 